welcome to Friday Friendly Kitchen, dear viewers. And thank you for the faithfulness for all those who are being there for me. And also today I'm going to show you a simple Malaysian snack dish which is used in the breakfast item or in the din in the dessert item as well or for tea time too it can be used so and let's get into the kitchen to see how it is been made the ingredients to make the kuei chara you need two cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of santan or the coconut milk and I have one cup of pandan extract over here and followed by one tablespoon of tapioca flour salt I'm going to use half a teaspoon this is the amount that I took and I have half a cup of sugar over here I'll be using when I'm making the batter a little bit and also uh, in when I'm cooking I'll be using some sugar so let's get into the kitchen to begin with, I'm going to add, add the salt together with this and the tapioca flour. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar maybe I'll just use one for now this has been mixed and now I'm going to add one cup of Pandan extract. So I'm going to add them gradually. A little extra of the pandan extract I think I'll be using up in this have some splash everywhere so time to time keep cleaning them For those who can't take coconut, you can just replace it with water. Not a problem. I know some of my friends here are allergic to coconut. So you may just avoid coconut and just mix it with water. This is a natural coloring. whatever leftover that I have. I'm 
not sure how how much. Let me measure that. So I have approximately about quarter cup of uh, pandan extract. I'm going to add them in. At this point, we are going to strain for that surely there will be lumps and all so I am just going to strain that little bit by little bit. I guess our batter needs more liquid. Yeah, I will be back with you. So now we shall pour and strain for any lumps to be left over. some lumps I'm going to add some water and I'm going to come back so at this point the batter should look like this it shouldn't be too thick or too watery this is the perfect consistency and so let's see how it turns out to start off with heat your pan and add half a teaspoon of butter the batter approximately about three quarter half a teaspoon of coconut it's an optional it's half a teaspoon and it's an optional cover it till it's cooked. At this point I'm going to remove them and I know how it's been cooked. The sides are not sticking. This is the end product uh, dear viewers. It is a Malaysian uh, snack which has been done with savory or sweet. I will be making the savory version in another video and uh, because the, the, the filling is a little differently be done. So I, this is what which is we have turned out and uh, we have made from our pan in our kitchen. So do like the video, share and subscribe. And until then, see you in my next video.